the Dark Ages, that period between the end of the Roman Empire and the turn of the first millennia. Politics were those of the sword. Literacy was the preserve of the church in general and the monastic orders in particular. Take away the trappings of the modern world and look at the achievements of that time and wonder how such magnificence could be created. Look at the Lindisfarne Gospels. No pens, no paint, no paper, yet one man created this transcendent beauty. How was this possible in the year 698? As Tony Robinson might say, we've just five minutes to find out. Yadfrith is thought to have been head of the monastic scriptorium at Lindisfarne when he created this work of art and scholarship. It's unlikely that his duties following his later appointment as bishop would have allowed time for his creative activity. Think of his problems. Without paper, how did he design these amazingly complicated patterns and letters? Vellum was too expensive to use for practice, so he would use wax tablets, wooden frames with a layer of beeswax on which he could inscribe an experiment before committing to vellum. Someone had to make the vellum, and it wasn't a very pleasant occupation. You couldn't pop down to the local stationers to buy a few sheets. You had to make it. Skins were soaked in lime to loosen the hair, and then scraped clean before being stretched on a frame. A lost art, obviously. <laughs> the 258 pages of the Lindisfarne Gospels required 129 sheets of vellum. 24 inches by 15 inches. The sheets were made from calf skin, one calf per sheet, each calf being one less cow to provide meat and milk if allowed to grow to maturity. A very expensive process. Four sheets were placed on top of each other and folded to create eight pages each 12 inches by 15 inches. Inks and colorings also had to be manufactured locally. Modern health and safety gurus would have gone apoplectic with the monks manufacturing these colourings. Red paint was made from lead oxide, white from white lead. Green was produced from verdigris, the residue on weathered copper, composed of various poisonous copper compounds. Yellow was made from opiment, a monoclinic arsenic sulphide. Don't lick your pen. The Romans obtained theirs from the vents on Mount Vesuvius. Blue was long thought to be from the mineral lapis lazuli, found only in Afghanistan. But recent tests show the blue used for the Gospels was from the leaf of the ward plant, Indigofera tinctoria, well known to the ancient Brits. To write the text they needed something they could use as a pen and a liquid ink. The ink was produced from the oak gall, a puffball-like growth on an oak leaf. The oak gall wasp lays a single egg and plants it in the base of an oak leaf. The oak tree surrounds the irritant with a ball having a hard shell. The larva feeds on the content of the ball and escapes through a small hole when mature. Ink is produced by collecting and boiling these wasp incubators and adding gum arabic. <laughs> Pens were manufactured from either reeds or goose feathers. The resulting quills were hardened by drying in a heated container half filled with hot sand. The monks of Lindisfarne would be well versed in all these procedures and Yardfrith could get down to the task of lightly drawing in the guidelines on his manuscript and converting his wax drafts into treasure we so admire today.